fast for production. UTTV presents Snack Time, and here with this week's recipe, your host, Michaela Ellis. Hi, welcome to Snack Time. My name is Michaela Ellis, and today we'll be making Jello Jigglers. Now, I know a lot of people don't really associate snack time with college students. They associate it more with like kindergartners or preschoolers who have snack time and they have their goldfish or whatever. But I personally think college students like snack time a lot more. But uh, we also appreciate nap time a lot more than they do. But do we get it? No, we don't. Anyway, I'm going to start off with our jello jigglers. I have about one cup of hot water. I just stuck it in the microwave. And then I have three fourths of just regular room temperature water. And I'll be using that later. All right, first off, I'm going to be using my blue jello. I just chose blue jello because that is my favorite. You can use whatever color jello you want. It does not matter to you. You do you. Okay. I oh, thought it just looks so pretty. I don't know why. I just love the smell of blue jello. All right, we're going to just mix that on up and just make sure it's mixed really, really well. You could also add an adult beverage to this if you are over 21, but I'm not. So that's why I don't have any alcohol. In this room temperature water, I'm adding gelatin, just plain gelatin. By adding this in here, it makes the jello a lot firmer because the point of jello jigglers is they're a lot firmer, so you're able to eat them with your hands. And with the gelatin, you need to make sure you mix it up really, really fast, otherwise it sets and it gets all clumpy and gross, and you just ruined it. Sorry. So I just gotta make sure this is mixed up really well. Okay. Take my jello, add my gelatin. I know this is really, really hard. I don't, I don't know if many people can do this. That's up to you. Okay. I got this all mixed up, so I'm gonna set this to the side. Now I just got a cookie tray because the mold I'm using is really bendy, so if I add, when I add gel in here and then moving it somewhere else to the fridge, it just makes it a lot harder and it spills everywhere. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just add some Pam because this makes it easier to take the jello out of the molds once it's set. And you're not gonna be able to taste the Pam, don't worry. Okay. Now I'm gonna add the jello into each of these molds. And then get a little messy. It's another reason to have the cookie sheet right here. Just for anyone who really cares, I have a Britney Spears song stuck in my head. And it's Oops I Did It Again because 90s. Fun fact about me, the school I went to, our, we had to wear a special uniform on Wednesdays, and this uniform we had to wear basically looked like the uniform you had to wear that Britney Spears wore on Oops, I Did It Again. It's also the same type of plaid that they wore on Gossip Girl, for anybody who watches Gossip Girl. Okay, so added this all up. And spilled a little bit, but that's why I have the cookie sheet. Okay, obviously I do not have a fridge around me, so I'm just gonna set this to the side. And I have some that is already pre-made. And I know it's a different mold, but this is what I had. <sighs> so since it's jello, since it has that gelatin in it, it's a lot firmer. So you just kind of have to push it on up. Then have a spoon to kind of help scoop it out. And look at that. It's a lot firmer. So I just have a little thing right here so that I can put it on here. Now we're about to go to commercial, so I'm going to just let this stay here and I'll show you all how to scoop this out. What's up, man? What are you doing? Nothing, just trying to listen to music on this app, but it sucks because ads keep popping up. You should get the no ads app, then you wouldn't have to deal with all that. Oh, really? I had no idea. Just clap. Yeah. 
Hi, welcome back to Snack Time. I'm Michaela Ellis. I'm here making Jello Jigglers. Now I just have my Jello already already set, so I'm just here scooping it out of the molds. Now for me, when I eat this, I'm probably just going to eat this watching Netflix. You know, Netflix and Jello instead of Netflix and Chill or something. It's blue, so it kind of looks like ice. I guess it's like Netflix and Chill. I actually think I'm funnier than I really am. Anyway, I'm just scooping this out. And the great thing about Jello is very versatile. You could add different things. Like I said earlier, you can add an adult beverage. You can add fruit into it. You can take it with you to parties. It doesn't have to be just for snacks. I just like it for snack time. I've seen things where it was put in like a watermelon or something. I think it had an adult beverage in it as well. A lot of people associate Jello with alcohol. This keeps falling. I'm sorry. I don't know about you, but I'm just really impressed by how like well it turned out. So I'm just sitting here scooping this jello. And because I had the pan, it just came comes out so easily. I know this doesn't look as pretty in this little bowl right here, but I'm just looking forward to eating it later and sharing it with my fellow classmates if they want any. When I made this earlier, I put it in my fridge and the fridge had made it was too cold, so this like was frozen over, so it really did look like ice. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna put this over here. Now doesn't that look just so yummy? I think it does. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some whipped cream. You don't have to do this, you can do whatever you want. I just wanted to put some whipped cream on here. And it just looks so pretty. Like you could find this at Luby's. I don't know, I just think it looks prettier than at Luby's. All right, to find this recipe, you can go onto my website, www.snacktime.com. And, oh my gosh, this is really good. I'm sorry, I just really had to start eating this. But next week, I think we're gonna be making bagel bites. And what we're gonna be doing with those you're gonna have bagels, put some pepperonis on there, put some pizza sauce, put some mozzarella, and then we'll be making those next week, so I hope you join us that next week. So I'm just really excited about this Jello. It's just really good, and I hope the rest of my classmates love it. And it just really wasn't that hard to make. And there's just different things you can do to present it. This is just what I have right now. You can put it on like a little tray. Uh, holidays are coming up, so we have, you can make like red, orange, yellow, make it fall colors, play, take it for Thanksgiving. We have Christmas coming up, so I'm really excited about that. And you can make it red and green for Christmas and take that for Christmas and make it seem like you can cook. Because I know my mom, she doesn't really cook very much. The only reason she has a kitchen is because it came with the house. But I like to cook, obviously. So I think I'll probably be taking some Jello to my mom's house for Thanksgiving, and I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna take another piece of Jello. Okay. Well, we're gonna be running out of time here soon. Not fast enough, obviously. But. Like I said, you can find this recipe and many more on my website, www.snacktime.com. And join us next week. I hope everybody has a great evening. Join us next week. Thank you.